All right, what's going on? It's Alan Thomas, AKA Shadow Assassins. And today I have another fusion art painting doing another drawing challenge. This time I tried to combine Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat and Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually got the idea to do this. This is gonna seem crazy and probably gonna look at me like a weirdo or something, but I randomly had a dream the other night that I drew a picture of Shredder. It has been quite a while since I had a drawing dream, but I did nonetheless anyways. And I had a dream that I drew a robotic Shredder that was attacking the Ninja Turtles. That is still a, <laughs> a drawing I may revisit at a different day, but in trying to draw Shredder, I just randomly got the idea to just do a fusion drawing in the midst of it. And I wanted to combine him with somebody. And the first thing that came to mind was Shao Kahn. I didn't really, normally when I do these fusion paintings, I like to have a background in mind too when I do these things. Didn't really have a background for this one because I can't really think of anywhere to place Shredder. Like I just couldn't think of an interesting enough environment to stick him in and I didn't want to just stick him in a sewer. And I also wanted to keep something Shao Kahn-esque too, still in the background. I'm not gonna lie, I got lazy this time and so I just used the uh, recent Watch Me Draw, the uh, Kahn's Coliseum painting. I just sort of changed the colors to match how I was gonna paint Shredder in the picture and just use that as my background. So I am guilty of that at least this time. But the actual painting of the character is what I was focused on and I had fun doing it. Um, I find myself saying that every time I do one of these, but whatever, I do love doing these paintings and drawings. Um, one of the big challenges for this one though was trying to figure out ways to merge the two characters together without making it look like the character is one or the other. My original uh, sketch of this had the character looking very much like Shredder with skulls all over him, which I guess kind of what it looks like anyways, but it looked too much like Shredder. Like it, there was no difference to it at all. And then the second one that I almost ended up going with just looked way too much like Shao Kahn. And I didn't, it actually looked exactly like Shao Kahn almost. It just had like Shredder's mask, which I thought was just kind of almost cheating in a sense. I think what I got here, I have a nice balance of the two. I almost wanted to put a, uh, like the little top or whatever little shirt or whatever that thing is that Shredder wears on his upper body. But I thought that it still has to look Khan-esque and Shao Kahn doesn't really wear a lot anyway. So I just left the shirt off and just had pants and whatnot on him, sort of like uh, Shredder's outfit. And I put the spiked shoulder pads on him, almost just like uh, Shredder's outfit. Just little things to sort of make the look of the character stand out or the pieces of the characters to stand out. Because they do have similar clothing while not looking the same, if that makes any sense whatsoever. This painting also somehow took me a lot longer than my normal ones too. Normally this will take me about a little over an hour. This one actually almost took me two hours to paint and I have no idea why it took so long. That really bothers me. I'm not, I have no idea why this painting took me so long. Well, never mind. It could be because I actually performed this late in the day as well. I think I did this like late at night one night because I spent the whole day trying to render a YouTube video. But yeah, this was a lot longer than my normal paintings, or at least it took me a lot longer to get done. And then in drawing the picture itself, um, I spent a lot of time trying to decide whether or not I was gonna put the Shao Kahn mask on Shredder, or Shredder Khan, whatever you wanna call him, or whether I was gonna put the Shao Kahn skull mask on him. I ended up going with the Shao Kahn mask with Shredder's helmet, which honestly is gonna read either way. You're either gonna look at it and think Shredder, or you're gonna look at it and think Shao Kahn, so. I guess mission accomplished there, <laughs> at least I hope so. Um, in any event, in another little touch that, uh, two touches that I wanted to make sure to put on this painting is one was, and it's kind of lost just because of how dark I colored it, but I wanted to have the character holding the headbands and the Ninja Turtles. I, I, now that I think about it, I should have put some blood in there somewhere, but I'll get to that in a second. But I wanted to make it seem like he had just beat him or killed him in a sense. And I wanted to have him holding the headbands of the turtles. I almost went with uh, him actually holding a head of one of the Ninja Turtles. I thought that might have been a little bit overkill. It is, though for Mortal Kombat, that would have been perfect for the Ninja Turtles. It might have been just a tad bit excessive. So 
I laid off of that one. But I still wanted to keep it Mortal Kombat S, so I just had a hint of blood all over Shao Kahn. So I ran with that. Basically, I just took like a darkish red brush and just splattered it all over certain areas of the character. And then I just took the actual color red itself and just drew blood over top of the, I guess the spikes or claws on uh, the left hand of Shao Kahn. Which made me notice something that I never noticed before too in most Shredder, I guess, character designs. One arm is completely bare, while the other one, he has claws for whatever reason. Interesting little design detail that I never noticed before. Now I've been watching the Ninja Turtles since I was a child, so that was interesting enough. Alright, so there you have it. There's two things that I love. There's Mortal Kombat, and there's Ninja Turtles. <laughs> uh, that's my fusion art challenge for today. I may have another one in a couple weeks, of course. My upcoming week is my Shadow Assassins update, so I might not have as many of the fusion paintings or the drawing challenges, but I do have a couple tutorials coming up soon, and I also have some more vlogs that I'm doing, and I'll probably have a Watch Me Draw sometime next week just to break up the amount that I'm doing with Shadow Assassins, though I actually think I may vlog while doing my updates for my webcomic, but that's, we'll worry about that in the future. As for today, I'm going to get back to work now. I hope you all have a good day. Hope you like the video and leave a comment. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the little bell down below and subscribe to my channel and watch the rest of my art related videos. And y'all have a good one. I'm out.